it's heartbreaking. It definitely is heartbreaking. I feel hopeless. And that's because many people Cinnamon Velasco worked alongside remain missing. She finished her shift hours before a tornado ripped through Mayfield and destroyed the candle factory where she works. Still, she returned to the scene using a flashlight and her voice to help lead five people to safety before things got too dangerous. Come on, we got more. You know, there's more in there. It's, we can't stop. We just can't. We can't stop. You got to get them all. It's awful. There were others helping too. Lisa Sullivan, who lives nearby, and these are her pictures, said her group dug through rubble for what seemed like forever, only finding victims. The first person to come out, it was just... It was like, finally, we have found people. We could hear them inside. We could hear them banging on things. We could hear voices. But to see a human being come out, uh, you know, we knew we had to keep going. Now, when that tornado hit the factory, which is about a mile from where we're standing, there was reportedly 110 people working. And while multiple groups of volunteers and coworkers did what they can to get people to safety, at this point, there is no concrete number on just how many people remain missing. I've had three messages today with pictures asking, did you see this person? Did you see this person? Um, and I hesitate to say yes or no because Heaven forbid I'm mistaken. Both women say they wouldn't change their actions. They just wish they could have done more. Still, as their beloved city works to rebuild, they cling to hope. They are going to be bigger and better and more beautiful than before. We're going to come back. We're going to come back strong. In Mayfield, Lord Adams, WLKY News.